In this section, I will focus on scanning code and refining rule sets. I have created a project on a scan and I will be using the workbench and the server. The project I have is named example. I can navigate the directory structure of example using the project explorer view. I can edit source files in the editor view. And to detect itinerant issues in the code, click scan, single scan or control six, or click the icon in the toolbar, scan selected project. If I had more than one scan configured, I could execute many scans at once using scan, batch scan. The project scan summary shows an overview of ITN and issues detected in the code with four categories. I have 27 embedded strings, four locale sensitive methods, zero general patterns and zero static file references. The scan results view shows each one of the issues detected based on the rule in my rule set. For each issue, I see the priority, the location in the file, the issue itself, the code line and the reason. By clicking on the issue, I see it in the editor view where I can manipulate and change the code. Let's have a look at some of the issues and see how to refine the rules to better match my particular software implementation. I notice that parameters passed to debug.log are considered embedded strings. Globalizer flags embedded strings because they may need to be externalized into resource bundles. Resource bundles are a common mechanism to handle text in different languages such as French, or Japanese. However, some strings are used for programming purposes or some are not shown to the end user. Debug statements are typical of strings which must not be translated so a support engineer, say in the US, can see what happened in the Chinese usage of the application. So let's make sure debug.log string parameters are filtered out of the ITN issues. I'm logged in the workbench and I can use a shortcut to go to the server by clicking the view scan rule set icon in the toolbar. My rule set is what being used to scan the code. I notice again the four categories of rules, embedded strings, locale sensitive methods, general patterns and static file references. I want to filter strings that are parameters to a method. Click on Configure String Method Filters. Click on New String Method Filters. Fill out the new filtering rule. The pattern is a regular expression which describes the method with the string parameter. You can add a description and a help page so software developers will be able to click on that help page and see why this is filtered out. Click create and done. I have customized my rule set so that debug.lot statements are not going to take parameters as strings to be externalized. Let's rerun the scan here. Let's have a look at, first of all, the summary. I noticed that from 27, it went to 24 embedded strings. And when I look at the results set here in scan results, I don't see any debug.log statements, which would take a parameter as a string. In this section, we scan the code and we refine the rule set to be more in line with our coding practices.